With an uptick in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations, there is word that soon more children could be vaccinated. A Food and Drug Administration official says emergency authorization for COVID vaccines in kids under 12 could come in early to mid winter. Will that help bring down the transmission rate and how likely are parents to get children in that age group vaccinated? We turn to our expert this morning, Chad Nielsen. He is a director of infection prevention at UF Health Jacksonville. Good morning to you, Chad. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So we know children 12 and over have been getting the vaccine for some time now. What type of age parameter are we talking about here for a vaccine? Should we get the emergency approval come midwinter? Yeah, so there's actually two age categories that are currently under trial for Pfizer and Moderna. The first is the 5 to 11 age group, and then the second are those under 5 uh, as young as 6 months. So right now, uh, Pfizer and Moderna are both expecting trial results uh, for 5 to 11s to hit sometime in mid-September. And then shortly after that, the youngest age group, the six, to four, the six months to four-year-olds, should hit sometime after that. Now, once those trials are complete, the data does have to be given over to the FDA who authorizes the usage. And they'll take that long to then go over the data and analyze it, make sure it's safe for children? Yeah, that's right. Once the FDA receives the trial results, they're trying to actually turn it around fairly quickly. So that's why there's a midwinter uh, estimate here, because once the trials are over, FDA pours through the data and then we'll give that EUA usage. So we know children this young typically only have minor symptoms. Of course, there have been some reported deaths in children from COVID. I know there was one child here locally that we know of who died from the inflammatory syndrome that some children can get. How important do you think it is for children in this age bracket to get vaccinated? And do you think that it'll help lead to herd immunity and bring down transmission rates? We certainly know that children are passing around COVID-19 at a faster rate than they did before, primarily because the Delta variant is largely uh, the number one strain circulating right now. So as kids return to school in the fall or their preschools or their daycares, it becomes extremely important that we get that population vaccinated. Although the Delta variant right now is not uh, being seen to be more severe uh, because a larger proportion of the adult population has been vaccinated, it's leaving these kids really vulnerable uh, until they get a vaccine on board for them. So I do believe that once we start getting this into our children uh, and into the child population, we're going to start seeing numbers come down precipitously. Now, I know you hear a lot, I'm sure, from your friends and family when you start talking about vaccinating children this age or any age. I mean, you hear the anecdotal evidence. There is docu There are documented cases of heart inflammation in children. I know a couple of weeks ago, a 13-year-old boy died in his sleep three days after receiving the second COVID vaccine. Uh, what are CDC officials saying about these findings and what are you doing to encourage parents to get their children vaccinated? Yeah, so a lot of these findings uh, about uh, adverse events after vaccines are, are expected, to be honest with you. All vaccines have very small uh, risk of side effects. And what I'd like to say is they're very small risks. These events are very rare. Uh, these uh, heart inflammation cases in teenage boys, and in some cases, the Guillain-Barre syndrome uh, that Johnson & Johnson has recently said uh, it needs to be added to their warning label, are extremely rare events. Less than 0.1% of everyone who gets these shots is, is coming down with some of these scenarios. So it's very important that we understand that adverse events are rare, uh, but the event of getting infected with COVID and potentially ending up hospitalized is much higher. And that's what we're focusing on to encourage people to get vaccines, not only as adults, but as kids as well, is that the rare events are rare, but COVID-19 infection is actually very common right now due, due to the Delta surge. And Chad, I see a little rainbow on your desk behind you. I take it that you have small children. Are you going to get your children vaccinated? Uh, yeah, I have a four-year-old who starts uh, VPK in the, in the fall. And uh, as soon as the vaccine is available, I will have her vaccinated for it. We've, uh, My wife and I have stuck to our vaccine schedule uh, very reliably. And I believe that once this is available, I believe in the evidence. I believe the science behind it. Uh, I myself am vaccinated, so I'll feel very comfortable once the EUA was given for uh, children to receive it to give it to my own daughter. Chad Nielsen joining us live this morning. He's a director of infection prevention at UF Health. Thanks for joining us, Chad. Yeah, thanks for having me again.